Hey guys, we're time six. We're back watching Avatar The Last Airbender. This is book three, episode eight, called The Puppet Master. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page. Get up to six episodes ahead. Link is down below. Help support the channel by checking that out. And let's get started right away. Creepy music. They heard something down the hall in the oh, dark. Of course. Scary stories. The blade of wing fun was haunted! <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn! That was a special effect. <laughs> My mom was a girl. A snowstorm buried the whole village for weeks. A month later, Mom realized she hadn't seen her friend Nini since the storm. Oh. While the men went out to search, Mom stayed in the house. She heard a voice. It's so cold, and I can't <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nini's house stands empty to this day. Oh. But sometimes people see smoke coming up from the chimney. Like little Nini is still trying wow. to. Wow. That's, that's a good story. I hear people under the mountain. And they're screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sorry to frighten you. My name is Hama. You children shouldn't be out in the forest by yourselves at night. When the moon turns oh, full, God. Oh, here more go. stories. In, and they don't come out. That's it? More tea. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to fall asleep. <laughs> 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 this is a mysterious little town you have here. Mysterious town for mysterious. What? Children. What? What does that mean? What a creep, bro. <laughs> Sokka, what are you doing? You can't just snoop around someone's house. Don't be snooping. Be fine. Oh no, on. he's gonna want to open. Okay, that's pretty creepy. So she's got a hobby. There's nothing weird about that. Sokka, I don't get what Katara's defending. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you do You're breaking into a private room. I have to see what's in there. You have to? Yo, why do you have to? <laughs> Oh, nice. That's so oh, sick. On. I'm leaving. Suit yourself. Do it, Toph. <laughs> look, look at Instigator. Do it. I'll tell you what's in your box. A comb. Of course. An old comb? It's my greatest treasure. It's the last thing I own from growing up in the Southern Water Tribe. Oh. What? I knew I felt a bond with you right away. And I knew you were keeping a secret, so I guess we're both right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we were sneaking around. You're a waterbender. I've never met another waterbender from our tribe. That's because the Fire Nation wiped them all out. Over 60 years ago when the raid started. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just walk up and start <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Damn. I too was captured. I never thought I'd meet another southern water bender. I'd like to teach you what I know. So nice. Ooh, nice. The southern tradition hmm. when I'm gone. Did you know you can even pour water out of thin air? What? You've got to keep an open mind, Katara. Whoa. There's water in places you never think about. Gotta be the nicest natural setting in the forest. Oh wow, look at this. Can you tell us anything about the spirit that's been stealing people? Only one man ever saw it and lived. And that's old man Dean. <laughs> old, old man Dean. Ding live. <laughs> and all living things, they're filled with water. Oh. I met a waterbender who lived in a swamp and could control the vines by bending the water inside. You can take it even further. Oh, What? Two master waterbenders beneath a full moon? I don't think we have anything to worry about. Now she's sus again. She <laughs> is so <laughs> sus, dude. I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Old man Ding? Ooh! You just dinged his thumb. Didn't see no spirit. Just felt something come over me. Like Ooh. I was possessed. Forced me to start walking toward the mountain. Looked up at the moon. 
for what I thought would be my last glimpse of light. Wow. But then <laughs> the sun started to rise, and I got control of myself again. I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. Oh. What? We're saved. So many people. I didn't know that spirits made prisons like this. They don't. Who brought you here? It was a witch. Oh, uh -oh. A witch? She controls people like some dark puppet master. Katara! Puppet master? Yes, the innkeeper. I knew there was something creepy about I'll get these people out of here. You go. So has she been feeding these people? Like what? What I'm about to Oh, show the you, technique. I discovered in that wretched Fire Nation prison. The guards were always careful to keep any water away from us. They piped in dry air and had a suspended ground. Wow. I realized that where there is life, there is water. The rats that scurried across the floor of my cage were nothing more than skins filled with liquid. And I passed years developing the skill that would lead to my escape. Blood bending. Oh, it's real! The water in another body. Oh my god. It's Once real! I the rats. I was ready for the men. Oh. oh. And during the next full moon, I walked free for the first time in decades. My Damn. son unlocked. I don't know if I want that kind of power. Ooh. Ooh. The choice is not yours. The what? power exists. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course the choice is yours. And it's your duty. <laughs> we have to fight these people whenever we can. Wherever they are with any means necessary. Any means? It's uh. you. You're the one who's making people disappear during the full moons. They threw me in prison to rot. Along with my brothers and sisters. They deserve the same. You must carry Oh, she's going full evil now. Look at her face. Uh-oh. You should have learned the technique before you turned against me. She is the puppet monster. Damn. In control? The moon. Power. Oh. Oh. I think she's doing it. You're not the only one who draws power from the moon. Ooh. Yo! Is more powerful than yours, Hama. Damn! Uh -oh. Water oh, fight! Water view water. Oh! oh Beyblade. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow, she has to fight. <laughs> don't hurt your friends, Katara. And don't let them hurt each other. Oh! Oh! Stop it! Oh. Oh, oh. She learned it. This was clear. Yes! Katara has blood bending. Just don't use it. Forever. Unless it's necessary. Oh, she did teach her. Congratulations, Katara. You're a blood bender. <laughs> okay, what the Eesh. fuck? Is that it? That's it? Wow. That was... Alright guys, that was the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in our YouTube edit, you can click the link down below for the full uncut reaction. And let's discuss now. The Puppet Master. <clears throat> One of the freakier, freakier episodes of the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, very spooky. Spooky. <laughs> especially uh, Sokka's story, right? Yeah, the sorry, flaming was... sword of... What was it? I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, I was just mes mesmerized by his fucking scream. <laughs> Katara's story was... Kind of spooky. So going off of that, you guys predicted that Hama was Nini, but mm. I don't think that's the case. No, no, no. Cause well, they didn't confirm it. It still could be the case, but it could be. I thought mother? that would. Actually, be... no, it wouldn't be because she'd be. She would know. Grand, 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 yeah, yeah, age, no, right? No, 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 not mother's age. Yeah. yeah. Also, if, if uh, she would know if it was, it was her, I she would have said it, right? It was a bit. That would have been like oh, a yeah, the bender. Yeah, the bender yeah, tick would have, because was Katara's mom a bender? Yeah. No, wait, she, wait, was she? 
Oh, well, she wasn't. She wasn't. She wasn't. No, no, she wasn't. No, that's so, not either. Yeah, I don't yeah. think Grand Grand was either. From what I'm remembering, it was. Uh... Oh no, I can't say actually. Okay. So, the kids are camping out in the forest, having a good time. Talking. Does that screaming. work when you're out? Hmm? Like, uh, have you done that campfire uh, and telling stories? Yeah. I okay. Is every time I've done that. I've never been able to like get scared of just the stories, you know. Depends how old you were. How old I guess, you? yeah, but when I when we did it, I was like twelve or something, so it was kind of spooky. But for nah. me to get scared, I have to watch a horror film. Mm. I need the visuals, right? Oh, the visuals are definitely the worst. But to be fair, when I was a kid, I used to read the Goosebumps books. Yeah, me too. And those are that those would actually freak me out, and there's no visuals there, so. Oh yeah. Maybe it works. Yeah. You know what? There's one story in particular that actually did spook me. For goosebumps? No, no, no. Like that, that was just told by mouth, and uh, it had to do with this people. And anyways, they uh, they had like this cupboard that would open, and the utensils would fly out and get stuck in the wall. For what? Yeah, and it would happen like once every week, and it would freak them out. And she showed me like the pictures that they would take when it would happen, and I was like, yeah, that's. that's one of the freakiest things I've ever heard of. The ones I remember is uh, a lot of people, they talk about back home when they're like uh, living in like farmland or villages mm. that they always see a woman in white like in the fields mm. and her feet are always inverted Ugh. and hair over the face, you know. But it's such a common thing. Like, uh, so many people told me that story. That they see that, like uh, maybe uh, behind a door, they see the inverted feet. This is, and then they open the door, no one's there. So th that shit's kind of creepy. Well, they always say that in the village, there's way more. It's always a village. Yeah, yeah, because people are more in tune with nature, right? So there's not that many distractions. No, because there's enough and crime. Technology. There's enough crime as it is in the city. <laughs> Ghosts have no purpose there. All right. The, the criminals are doing their work there. Yeah, yeah, but... So the but ghosts he, have to go to the farmlands. Yeah, yeah. It's always like it's some land somewhere where no one lives. Like four people live there. and There's some manor some, with yeah. like huge property. Yeah. But yeah, so they meet Hama and right off the bat, she's pretty sus. Yeah. I want to know your guys' thoughts, like what you were thinking as the episode went along. Yeah, no, she was just being really weird. And she had, I don't know, she was just... I know it's so... nice, but like, again, it's as Sokka said, she had like this ominous nature to her where it sounded like she was not telling the whole truth and she was kind of acting secretive. And, you know, it's like, yeah, she was being nice. Like, on paper, you know, she's a really nice person. She's being very generous. To them. I know to at them. some point you guys flipped and accepted that she's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's after she told her story. Right. And, I guess uh, after she the demonstrated night. the bending as well, which confirms that she is a bender. So yeah, I guess yeah. it kind of confirms the rest of her story. Yeah, and you have no reason to believe that a southern, yeah. southern waterbender is evil. That's what's yeah. surprising is yeah. that she's a waterbender that's evil. Yeah, you kind of use on her side. Yeah. Kind of used Katara as a moral compass here. Like, okay, well if Katara's aligning herself with her, then I guess I can. Well, doesn't Katara align herself with anyone? She's pretty gullible. If we learn anything, she is. But if we've learned anything from the show, she's very gullible. She is gullible, but I think that that's, means that she's trusting. No, it's part of her character. It's fine. Yeah. But um, like it is what what it is, right? But yeah, so people going missing in the mountains. Uh this is very similar to Jet, where because of the war, because of the oppression, mm -hmm. you just take it out on random people. Well, which yeah. is not right in any circumstance, I don't think. In her case, she was like a war prisoner. Because I don't think these, these are just citizens of the village, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, unless they were the ones who locked her up, which I, it wasn't confirmed. I don't think it Maybe was. some of them were in there, but... And for those people, fine. It's like, okay, no, I'll, it, I'll it let wasn't. it go. We literally know it wasn't because like uh, one of the guys mentioned that like one of his courier boys what was, was stolen? Like a restaurant. No, owner. I'm saying maybe some of them in the group were. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you the guards. Like yeah. guards. Yeah. Anyways, no, she was just exacting her revenge on the. I have no issue people. if 
it was just the people that wronged her. But there were clearly uh, innocent civilians here. She did go through a lot of shit. Like all her uh, tribe, right? Everyone was taken away and she had to leave her family. And it was God knows up. how long she stayed in prison for. But you can't attack innocent people. Yeah. Like that's not how that's, you go about it. Yeah. That's why I never liked Jet from the beginning. Mm. So, yeah, wa uh, not water bend uh, blood bending. Yeah. What are we thinking? I'm blood glad bending. she learned it. Oh. I feel like this is such a useful It's so skill. OP. Well, yeah. so do you think she she's going to use it? It doesn't She'll matter if she's she going to use it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, if one day they she has to use it to save someone's life. Well, it can't be one day. It has to be one night during the full moon. Oh, That's what we learned. Okay, never mind. It's okay. a werewolf thing. So it's one night be... during the full moon, which is, I isn't that? No, 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 it's not. What? I don't know. I was thinking. Wait. Well, that's what the fire, their, said. their plan for what's the their plan right now? They're, they're planning on attacking the Fire Nation. Um, no, that's a solar eclipse. It doesn't mean oh. the moon is out. Yeah. Well, actually, it's, technically, it is it's covering yeah, the sun. Technically, so, yes. So it would work then. Wait, it would work. Yeah. So okay, so so it would come in clutch on the mm. solar eclipse. Okay. So that that could be huge. Oh yeah. That's Night of the massive. invasion. I didn't even think of that. That could be huge. Yeah. It would work. So thank God she has that tool in her inventory now. But uh, she's not proud of it. But I think the more important thing was the uh, the life steal. The what? The life steal, which is like her grabbing the life force from like flowers, the flowers, and like drawing water from the moisture in the air. Like that's huge. Yeah, yeah that one is. Because she can like cool. now. Yeah, technically, you can do the same thing to a human. Technically, but then you're just straight killing them. And that's yeah. not something Katara's gonna do ever. I oh no 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 no! I I, that's what I had in mind. Like if you could like, you know, pull the blood out of someone and like spikes or something. I guess this is where it becomes a kids show, right? Because yeah, she has no reason to lock them up in a mountain. Why why not just oh, kill them? Not at all. Yeah, because like, now you have to feed them, right? And the blood bending is like very humane in, in a sense, you know? It, she's just like basically oh, throwing I see what them. I love his humane. They couldn't just kill But them. she's not like actually physically injuring them in any way, shape, or form. She's just displacing them. Maybe you she know? wants them to suffer. Yeah, it's moral, but they're not, but yeah. I mean, when they, when she locks them up, then yeah, then it's bad, but that's not necessarily the blood There's a deeper either. aspect to this, which I'll say another time. It's actually not even in the show, it's in the next show, Legend of Korra. Mm. About <gasps> the experience of being blood bended. Oh. So, yeah, that's all I'll say. Yes. But, yeah, so, innocent civilians, and then we have a Hama Katara showdown. That was dope. Oh, uh, Katara, dude, Katara's fights are always one of the best, I think. Her and uh, maybe Toph. Oh, yeah. No, Toph had the best yeah. moments, I think, in this episode. Other than this that, episode? obviously. Dude, no, this episode was all Katara. She was what do you going mean? crazy when they were in the mountain. Okay. She literally carried the mountain okay, yes, expedition, but, okay? Yes, I agree. She popped off. But I think Toph's biggest moment was making a fucking lockpick. <laughs> dude, that was huge, too. Yeah. She's very... In terms useful. of uh, fighting, this dude, this was Katara's episode, bro. Yeah, yeah. Katara said that she was stronger than the witch. I think she meant in is terms of because age? she's old. Age? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. that's what I understood. Okay, that's fine. Because I was Katara's wondering because she's a master waterbender. I'm like, how is she? Stronger? Well, according to Master Paku, Katara is also a master. Remember? Right, but she's he, young. So. He certified her yeah, as a master to, to train Aang. Yeah. So I guess because they're always doing these uh, like movement with their body, right? So if she's older, then she would be like slower. Yeah, less uh, muscle. Uh, what do you call it? Stamina? Yeah, stamina. I think the yeah. most Fatigued out more. I think sure. the most important thing though is her exposure though. Like I feel like all these other waterbenders probably don't leave, you know, their villages unless they have to go to war. So they probably don't get the same amount of exposure that she would get. So she just probably has a bigger inventory. I see experience, of, yeah. yeah. She probably knows more spells or whatever. Yeah, now, also Hama, she's been locked up for how long? Exactly. So she's behind times. She wouldn't have uh combat or modern combat experience, right? Because all she does now, she, like she escaped, obviously, using the bloodbending. But now, in the mountains, all she does is puppet them into the mountain. She's not fighting them. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, Katara would win, if you think yeah. about it. No, she literally just uses two techniques because they're so effective. But the only problem is that, again, you need to have the moon to use one of them. But the, the lifesteal, that's huge. Because she, like, turned into, like, razor blades. Yeah, I don't think they do that in a kid's show, though. 
Yeah. Killing off humans just like that. No, no, no. I'm just saying, but like that, that's really effective move though. Yeah. That's the only one you, you need to learn as a waterbender. So, I mean, yeah, like so far this season is fire. Wink, oh, wink. Yeah. <laughs> Book three fire. <laughs> Aang's hair is fire. It's getting better. It's getting more anime. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, the, the reason I said that is because uh, we had a Sokka episode where he grows and learns his skills. Right. Now we have a Katara episode and there's a lot more to come. I hope so. All right, guys, thanks for watching our reaction for Avatar The Last Airbender Book 3 episode was this, 8. Episode 8. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.